This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee. Rumor has it. On the Breakfast Club. So listen up. Nah, 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 nah. Well, Remy Ma has been very open about her recent miscarriage, and she talks to Essence Magazine about how she was distraught, she was embarrassed, and she feels like she wants to help other women out there who perhaps want to have a baby but are having difficulties. Here's what she said about starting a fund. I'm trying to start my own fund right now so that women who are like me or have similar situations to me but they can't afford it, they can possibly, you know, get these procedures done and have children because as a woman, that's one of the things that you can do that no other being can do. Like, when that's taken away from you, I don't feel like it should be taken away from you because of money. Like, people put too much of a value on money as opposed to the value on life. So she was saying that some women can't afford those medical treatments, like in vitro fertilization. Very expensive. That can cost between $12,000 and $17,000. And she said it's weird that if you want to terminate a pregnancy, you could use your health insurance. But if you wanted to conceive, health insurance doesn't cover that. So she said she's been looking at all of that. That's a great point. No, I agree with it. I mean, absolutely right. I mean, it should be covered. Life is, is one of those things where... If you want to take in vitro, it's it's a lot. And those treatments, it's not guaranteed. So you might have to take four or five treatments. And to take a life is way cheaper. What abortion is now? 350, 375? We don't know. I don't know. No, okay. All right. Now let's discuss Bill Cosby. It turns out the jurors are speaking. Ten out of the 12 jurors on the Bill Cosby sex assault trial reportedly wanted to convict him. So there was only two holdouts that actually resulted in the mistrial. <laughs> Two black people on that jury. That's what it sounds That's like. That's right. That watched the Cosby show their whole life in a right. different world and Fat Albert. Bill Cosby <laughs> left that courtroom and said, hey, hey, hey. And it brought back all those memories of their childhood. They're like, we can't convict this man. Mm. They said people would just start crying out of nowhere. We wouldn't even be talking about the case and people would just start crying. It was very emotional. They said tensions got crazy when one male juror act- actually punched the concrete wall of the jury room. So they said the room was so small you couldn't even pace Yeah, where they had to sit and deliberate. It gets frustrating when you tell people they can't watch reruns of the Cosby show because Bill Cosby raped mm. people. And you want to watch his reruns of the Cosby show. Spent all that money on the whole box set DVD and now he can't even watch them? All right. Well, there was one alternate jur- juror who spoke out and he said he definitely would have convicted Bill Cosby. That's Mike McCloskey. He's 43 years old. He said, I felt like we let Andrea down. I felt like we could have bought justice. But unfortunately, being an alternate, I didn't have a decision in that matter. Now, he said he and the other alternate <clears throat> jurors were kept in a separate conference room while the main jury made their decision. He said the evidence that he found the most compelling was the phone conversation that Bill Cosby had with Andrea Constant's mom, Gianna Constant, that took place a year after the attack. And in those calls, he admitted that he had molested her with his fingers. And after giving her pills, he never identified by name. He said he called himself a dirty old man over the phone to her, and he said the phone admissions were ridiculously creepy. Well, aren't they getting another chance? Aren't they going to try to retry the whole situation? They do plan to do that. Cosby is free on bail. He's still facing three counts of aggravated indecent assault. Each has a five to ten year uh, prison sentence. But yes, they are going to go ahead and retry him as fast as possible. Just understand that a life sentence for Bill Cosby is only going to be a year or two. So if that satisfies y'all, cool. Now, I've been following this Bachelor in Paradise story. Did you see it? I didn't see it this week. You're talking about The Bachelor. I was talking about The Bachelor. I'm sorry, my bad. We're talking about Bachelor in Paradise. Now that's Round of applause, Angelie Segway. The great whole segway. story of Corinne Olympios and Demario Jackson. They had oral sex in the pool during the filming of Bachelor in Paradise, and she was saying that she was so drunk, she doesn't remember anything, so she feels like the producers should have stopped it mm-hmm. from happening. But the Warner Brothers investigation, it turns out, says that that is not what happened. They do feel like she was conscious and knew what was going on. Now, she does have a boyfriend. And she had made a deal with her boyfriend before going on the show that she would not have sex with anybody there. He he is standing by her side. He thinks the swimming pool incident doesn't count because she was drunk out of her mind. What? He also is suspicious because he says that her lawyer has not been able to see the tape, but it was shown to DeMario's attorney as well. And Warner Brothers isn't sharing the video with Corinne's legal team because she has threatened legal action. So... I don't know what's going on with that, but Demario Jackson, the guy who had oral sex with her in the pool, is done with the show. They're saying that the show is going to continue to film now, and they're trying to find out who's going to get on the show. But uh, he's saying that they invited him back. He doesn't want to go. He said he has to have therapy and everything, all because this scandal has oh, he's about to sue. been linked to him. And now it's just going to forever be a black cloud over him. He said mm-hmm. he didn't do anything wrong. And that is a fact. When you're accused of a crime like that, even when you get found not guilty, people still be like, nah, he probably did. That's right. Right. He's going to need therapy. He's going to have to sue. And but when, but oh. I do feel like 
they were more blaming the actual producers of the show. Like, because supposedly they both were drinking all day and they feel like something, somebody from the show should have prevented have this. Mm-hmm. Right. But everybody else was saying that she was conscious and knew what was going on. And when did the average cost of an abortion in the United States jump to 468? Inflation. Jesus Christ. When's the last time you paid for an abortion? You know what? Um, let's don't get the days up next, right? <laughs> when did don't... How much was it back then? Three fifty? Mm. Three seventy five? But how long ago was that? I don't know. <laughs> but I'm saying I obviously got a it's more two, I got a birthday in seven days. I'm old. I don't remember. But obviously it's more go. expensive now, as everything is years and years later. Yeah. Hopefully years and years later. I don't remember. What? <laughs> you mumbling over there? I don't remember. All right. All right. Well I'm Angela Yee and that is your rumor report. All right. That is- The Breakfast Club, every weekday morning. Tune in.